So we're going to start here talking about sequences and series, and we're going to do 6-1 and 6-2. So we're talking about this chapter, the study of order, how we order things. And organizing elements into a certain order is going to make things a lot easier for us in our understanding and our operations. So we have something that's not ordered. We have random chaos. And we could have something that actually is ordered. And we see that we prefer this environment uh, much more for us. Uh, high school is ordered. When you come, uh, in, we do grade 9, and then we do grade 10, grade 11, and grade 12. We have an order of high school. Uh, in sports, there's a batting order. The person who bats first is a different person who bats second and third. It's usually the same each, each spot. We have alphabetical order. Okay, we have the alphabet A, B, C, D, F, G. You can imagine trying to memorize the alphabet if we just guessed random letters like F and then, you know, whatever, Q and then so on. So that the order there is important as well. We have, of course, order of operations for bed mass, which helps us. Now, just some terms here. A list of ordered numbers is called, just some terminology. So a list of ordered numbers is called a sequence. And each element in the sequence is called a term. So the sequence is a list, and everything in the sequence is called a term. And each term position, we're going to number. So we're going to have numbered, each position is going to be numbered. So one, two, start at one, two, three, and so on. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean here. So just some sequences here. There's, there's a lot here, just a couple to look at. You know, we, we can have a list of odd numbers. So we start at one, three, five, seven, or even numbers, two, four, six, eight, and so on. We could list off prime numbers or composite, which are not prime, you know, square numbers, and, and so on. So these are ordered, these are these lists that we're talking about. And the list is the is the sequence. So here's this three is the first term. Okay. The five is the second term. The seven is the third term, and, and so on. And these three dots actually mean something. These three dots, it means it, it goes forever. So I don't just stop at nine because I just stopped writing the number nine. The the dot 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 means it. It keeps going for us. So just a couple here we can just kind of do quickly here together. What are the next few terms in the sequence? So the first term here would be 10. I say, okay, what am I doing 10 to get to 17? Obviously, I'm adding 7. What am I doing to 17 to get to 24? I'm adding 7. So obviously, at 38, to get over to my next term, I would add 7. That would be 45. And then you can keep going. You know, this one here, 20, how much do you add to get to 35? 15. How much do you add here? 15. So however much we're adding, you know, 65 plus 15 plus 15 would be 80, and so on. Now, our goal really isn't just to, you know, work through lists and figure out numbers. It's to actually write a model. As always, we're trying to get the algebraic model for this. And, of course, our models, we call them functions. And for all of our functions, we're going to use two variables like we always do. And what we're going to use is actually the position and the value. Those are going to be the two variables that we use. So it's like anything. It's like, you know, you work at no frills and uh, you have how many hours you work and your pay. We have two things, hours and pay. Or we've talked about quadratics, you know, height of a soccer ball and time. You kick a soccer ball, how high is it? Two things. Same idea here. We have these two things. We're going to have the position, where it is in the list and the value, the actual value of the number. Now, just before we get into building our own, we're just going to take a look at some, just how to operate with some functions that are already written. So here's what it looks like. So t is going to be term. So t, this is subscript n. So t is the term, n is the number. And the actual operational part is just this, 3n plus 2. So I'm going to use dashes here to represent these. We use this technique a lot. And I'm going to number each spot. So this is the first spot, the second spot. These are the positions. So first position, second position, third, fourth, and fifth. And to figure out term one, so I'm going to make basically n equal to one. I'm just going to plug it into this. I'm going to take n equals one and plug it in here. So put a one there and, and put a one there. That's all I'm doing. So t1, t subscript one, first term, is, is 3n plus two. So I'm going to do three times one, which is three plus 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. So my first term, the value of my first term in position 1 is 5. So, you know, this is the value of the term, and this is the position down here. That's what we're talking about. 
And from here, you know, it, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, term two, I plug in two, three times two is six, plus two is eight. Term three, I plug in a three, three times three is nine, plus two is 11. I mean, obviously you can do this and so on and so on. Keep going, keep going and so on. We, you know, you may recognize this, you know, this looks very familiar to y equals mx plus b in that we have this, you know, kind of starting value, starting value, and we have this little multiplier that's helping us work through. It's, it's very, very similar to that structure. So it's nice because we, we, we recognize it. Now, a key idea here, of course, uh, just to make sure we're clear, we're using the term position to generate the term value. So the position is actually generating the value. I'm using this position to, I'm using the position to actually kick out the value. The position is creating the value. Just like, uh, you know, the number of hours you work at no frills determines your pay. So the same thing, we start with one thing and, and generate the other. Uh, so the term value is a function of the position. So this value is a function of the position that's in, just like your pay at no frills is a function of how many hours you work. So same structure that we've seen before. And of course, it's brilliant. Uh, a couple of those here we try, you know, T subscript N, we could have an exponent, which is easy. You know, we could say, you know, find the third term. So this would be, you know, T subscript three would equal, you don't need that twice, sorry. You would equal two to the three minus one. Three minus one is two, two squared is four. So we could, we could just plug it in. You know, same thing here. We could find whatever the third term if we wanted. It would be two times three plus one over three. We just plug it in. Six plus one is seven over three. And it's okay to have a fraction. Now, another way to look at this is instead of determining the value from the term position, which works, Sometimes we can also determine a value given the previous value. So for example, you know, suppose you've made $75 at work and, and you work one more hour at $15 per hour. How much do you make? Well, I don't have to go all the way back down to zero and do all my calculations again. I can say, all right, I'm already at 75. I work one more hour, so I just add the, the next hour on. Okay, that works sometimes too. So for example, here I have, I'm given T1 is three, and then I'm given Tn is T to the n minus one. And this n minus one is just saying it's the previous term. That's all. So my current term is just equal to my previous term plus four. So I can dash it out. Now I'm given T1 is three, got it. So I know T1 is three. Now team two, sorry, term two is equal to the formula. So I just put a two in here. Term two is equal to term two minus one, so term two is equal to term two minus one, which is one obviously, plus four. So two minus one is one. So, and term one is three, right here is a term one, three. So it's just saying three plus four, which is, which is seven. It's really just saying, you know, your term is just go to the previous term and add four. That's all it's, that's all it's saying. So term three, says go to term two and add four, because three minus one is two. So term two is seven plus four, which gives you 11 and so on. And we can keep going on that. Okay, take a look at 360 and 370.